here we are. It's finally here. The Power of the Systems L 1.0 case has finally landed. It's quite a big box, and as you can see, it's a flat pack. Now, I've never seen a flat pack case before, so it's going to be interesting. Very well protected, this is really. There we go, there's one side out. I think that's the uh, side window, isn't it? Now oh, that's the clear acrylic for the window, because obviously it's got a window in it. So that's clear acrylic. It's really good that they've left that on there and not put it in, because. Uh, it saves you from damaging it yourself. <coughs> this is the side window with the uh, this is the side you look into. As you can see, the laser cut acrylic, really nice cut. You see there. Quite thick. It's obviously it's flexible because it's the case window, but that feels more rigid than some like steel cases that I've had. Like that just try and not get it out without damaging it. That's uh, my main concern. I don't want to scratch it with a knife. So that's the other side. See the cut out there for the power supply unit. It sits there on this case. So nice thick. That feels really rich. It does that. That feels really strong. I like. I also like this cut. I love cut the fan grills. Looks really nice. Does that? I think that's probably the only metal part in the case. Is the uh, card mount or the card holder for your PCI cards. It's very well wrapped. Can't knock power for the packaging. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, oh, there goes a bit. I think that sits in the bottom of the uh, of the case in the pedestal. It's a mount for your radiator. So counter sunk screws. Yeah. You can see that. I'm assuming that's the back of the case or the front. Oh no, that's the divider between the main compartment where you put your motherboard and the pedestal where you can put all your radiators and other stuff. Obviously, because it's acrylic, I plan on mounting and drilling quite a few holes in this. I've got a step bit from that and pass through fittings to uh, help me. That's just another uh, fan mount, or radiator mount. Obviously, I have a plan of putting three radiators in this case. That's my plan, anyway. It's another part. I think that's probably the top. I don't know without looking at the instructions. I haven't come across the instructions yet. <laughs> but I think that's the top with a three uh, fan fan cutouts. So I think that's the top. Another uh, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's probably the bottom bottom of the case. Probably I'd say it's really Quite a hefty piece of acrylic, really. It's quite that is quite heavy. I mean, it, like I say, it feels stronger than most aluminium chassis. This stuff. Now, this is the back of the case. Obviously, you've got 
pass play unit mount there. Fan, fan. That's the back of the case. Obviously, the motherboard cut out here. How you are cut out where your card mount goes. You can get this in a variety of colours. I asked for mine in black and frosted white. I think I've just seen my frosted white bit. This is the front of the case. Right here. Obviously, plenty of fan mounts there. Obviously, it's two layered on the front. So there's two parts to this front and two parts to the rear, if I remember rightly. So. Obviously, it's all customized, but if you contact Parvin, you can cut any design you like on the front of your case. So, here's my first frosted acrylic. Not quite sure what that bit is, I think it's probably the front part of the front. You can't really see it. See it a bit better on this camera. You can see it's uh, another quite thick piece of acrylic. This is the uh, cut out. I mean, I'll show these white bits when I move off this because obviously with the lights on this being white you won't be able to really see them. But that's more, that's a rear uh, cut acrylic. Like I said, it's, uh, I think the two parts of the front of the rear of the case. I think that's the front there. Can't really see it but I'll show you again in a minute so you cut out some of the USB and the power supply unit there like I said these bits here can come in different colours if you ask Pav Pav ask you when they uh, take your order yeah, that's the top panel there like I said I'm going to show you these again because you can't really see it with this white packaging that I've got absolutely loads of it so I can't knock Pav for that Yeah, I'll take this is the motherboard tray. Yeah, this is the motherboard tray. Obviously, you've got the uh, Standoffs there, brass standoffs for the motherboard tray. Oh, I've just, no, I didn't give it myself uh, the equivalent of a paper cut. <laughs> of course, you have to be careful with this because it is laser cut acrylic, so you do have to be careful with it because it has got quite sharp edges. Nix myself there, so uh, I'll soldier on. Yeah, like I said, that's another. Really thick piece of acrylic. Like I say it's going to be way, It's going to be quite hefty. This case, I think it weighs about twelve kilos. There about USB 3.0 cable to go to the front. Move this now. Let's see what's in here. Cable for the power switch. Obviously, I think that's the LED as well on that. Two more bags of screws. Some Allen keys. Obviously, you need Allen keys. But if you like me, you've got loads of them now. And these are what hold the carbon case together. These uh, little cubes. See so if you can get a better shot of it. These 
I'll walk up to Adam Chaos. Hold it together. So the holes on each side, so it doesn't really matter which way you put it in when you're building it. But it looks uh, like a quality piece of construction, if you ask me. Here's the well, that's for the top. Because it's got countersunk parts on it for the screws. That's for the back. All the cutouts there. Power supply. That's a fan. Power supply. Another fan. And for the uh, front of the case. So yeah, that's my unboxing of the Parvum case. No instructions, I'm assuming they're on the website then. So yeah, I'm going to get this built up and uh, watch out for the uh, next part of my Parvum build coming up, build vlog. I'm going to put build this case up, I'll probably have to take it apart again to install my system. But I just want to get the case built up so you've got a rough idea what it's going to look like. So. Until then, I'll see you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.